A beautiful coastline is one of Washington State's greatest treasures. Every day, beachgoers, nature lovers, and recreational boaters come to these waters to find peace and relaxation. A clean marine environment is essential for us to keep enjoying all that our coastline has to offer. Which is why, if you're a recreational boater, it's important to help keep Washington's waterways clean by disposing of boat sewage at pump outs or dump stations. Pump out stations can be found at most major marinas and recreational boat slips. After you dock your boat, look for the sign that indicates there is a pump out station at that marina. Over the next few minutes, Aaron Barnett from Washington Sea Grant will guide you through the process of pumping out your holding tank at one of Washington State's many pump out facilities. The first thing you want to do is put on gloves. Gloves are added protection against bloodborne pathogens like staph, MRSA, hepatitis, and so on. Once the boat's tied up and we have our rubber gloves on, we're going to open the waist deck fitting. It's very important to completely uncoil the suction hose completely off the rack. What this does is it takes out any potential streamlined pressure that builds up in the top of these coils, and it can make the pump out appear inoperable. We'll lay the entire length of the hose out on the dock, down there. This is called a nozzle assembly. This is the valve. This is the universal rubber nozzle tip that's usually removable. When using the rubber nozzle tip, we want to crack this open or keep it all the way open before we insert it into the, uh, the waste deck fitting. It's important to read the instructions for the particular pump out you're at. Some are vacuum tanks that require pushing an extra button. Some are just an on and off switch like this. Turn the pump on. To the red light. Insert the rubber nozzle tip and watch the sight tube. Once you see a fluent moving through the side tube, you'll know that the pump out's working. And this is how we know once it's apparent where the, the holding tank is empty, we close the ball valve. Remove the nozzle tip. Lay it on the dock. Non Every pump out station has a non-potable hose usually marked non-potable. This is what we're going to use to rinse off the deck. The best way to eliminate any chance of spillage or risk of human sewage contact is to use a threaded fitting. Here we have them in these kits. So, use an adapter and fit it into the deck fitting like this. Remove the universal nozzle tip. Attach the cam lock fitting on the nozzle assembly onto the threaded fitting. And once the once the nozzle assembly is clamped onto the fitting, you can leave. You can open the ball valve. And once you're done, you can close the valve. Unthread. Fitting. Insert it back in the bag. <laughs>